Did you drive along slow in the red car? No. If you are into used PC parts hunts, you're into deals, you're into hustling, then this is that time of the month where we get on good old Gamtree. We go look for the deals. We also get on Facebook Marketplace, see what is up for sale. Now, with that said, I've already got a Ryzen 5 2600 lined up for 200 Aussie dollars. That's about 140 USD. I know that's not much of a deal, but still a dollar made is a dollar saved. But before we do go pick that up, we're gonna check out what other deals are up for sale and see if we can find any immediate bargains. And then we'll go pick up these deals and then we'll do a second round and see what else is up for sale. So pulled up a heap of listings. There are some potential deals depending on if I talk to the people and they're willing just to come down a little bit, then they will be really good deals. And the first of which is a GTX 760. Uh, this is going for $65 Aussie negotiable. I'll put the USD pricing up on all the prices I talk about here up on the screen for you guys. But I mean, if we can get this for 50 Aussie dollars, then this will be a really good card, especially on low end budget builds if we put something together. And uh, let's give this a call and see if they'll take the offer. A little bit of a slight bogan tone, just a tint of it in there or a tinge. Six, one. Okay, they didn't pick up their phone, but we'll just drop in an offer of $50. And there's already like 14 offers available there. So I'm kind of a bit weary. Maybe they just forgot to take the listing down, but let's move on to the next one. Next card we got here is a step down from the 760. It's a GTX 750 and you should be able to play games at 720p definitely. Uh, 1080p low settings for some of the later titles. I believe this should be able to handle Apex Legends as well. Fortnite and CSGO and Dota 2, for example, there'd be absolutely no problems for this little card. And the good thing is it will fit in a OEM system or any pretty much any motherboard as well as a lower end power supply, no problem since it doesn't even need a six pin power connector. With that said, let's offer 30 Aussie dollars for this card. Hello. Uh, hey, mate. How are you going? Oh, I'm very good, mate. How are you? Yeah, not bad. I saw you got an ad here on Gumtree for a GTX 750. Yes. Is that still available? It is, absolutely. Uh, would you take 30? Yeah, man. No problem. Okay. Uh, where It says School Road. Whereabouts is that? What time would you be available today if it's not too much of a hassle? Um, I will be home definitely this evening. I'm out for the day. Um, yep. just one sec, I'll find out what time I'll be home, I'll be Alright, cool man, if you just want to text us over the address and time and I'll, I'll be around. Yeah, absolutely man, no problem at all. Alright, thanks mate. That's true, see you later. Yep, see ya, bye. Awesome. We have landed our first deal. What a way to start off the parts hunt. It's always good when you land those deals. Next GPU we've got up here is a GTX 1050 Ti. They're asking 130 Aussie. Obviously a card like this can do 1080p gaming, absolutely no problems uh, with medium high settings, depending on the title. And it's still just like the GTX 750, a low powered card. So it doesn't need like a six pin or actually this version may need a six pin. I'm not too sure, but uh, with that said, it's still going to work in great entry level budget builds. Just get a phone call. Hello, Brian speaking. Hello. 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 You're speaking to Brian? Yeah, so this is my calling to you from IGMI, and this call is regards to your domain. So this call is regards to your domain as you purchased a new domain. So I believe you must be looking for any website or mobile application for your domain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to create any website? Yeah, well, I'm I'm making a website myself. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to bother you. Okay, thanks. Uh, thanks for contacting. My name's Brian. Mid, little bit of a mid hustle there. Uh, someone calling me up about a website I created. That's actually a little bit scary because I don't know how they got my number 
and I, because I did recently register for a website, but the particular site shouldn't be giving out my details like that and allowing sort of hustler, third party hustlers to come in and try and sell me a website. Like, Anyway, back to the video. GTX 1050 Ti, four gigabyte version. These are great for 1080p gaming, uh, medium to high settings. Of course, that low power requirement with these cards makes them great fit for low uh, entry level systems or even mid end systems since it is a decent card still. They're asking 130 Aussie. We're gonna come in with an offer of 110 Aussie. And at this price point, they are a great option since they generally, just like the GTX 750, don't have too strenuous requirements. We can get away with a sort of like a 300 watt power supply and still be okay. But they don't have a number, so we're just gonna drop in an offer here. The next listing we've got here is a GTX 1060, and according to the listing, it's a three megabyte edition, which would make it really awesome. But this card is uh, pretty solid for 1080p gaming, just like the 1050 Ti, it's a step up. It will do 1080p high settings on pretty much most titles. Three gigabytes of VRAM isn't really a problem. Uh, just drop the settings on some of the anti-aliasing and some titles that are VRAM heavy, and we shouldn't have a problem. And it's also a Zotac version, so not bad. If we can get this for 140 Aussie dollars, then we will be in the clear. So you driving along slow on the road car, right? Oh, sorry, mate. What? What? Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I thought it was Nathan. I thought it was somebody else. I'm sorry about that. How are you coming? Yeah, good, mate. Yourself? I'm just inquiring about an ad you got here on Gumtree for a GTX 1060. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, sorry. yeah for sure. <laughs> That's okay, mate. Uh, would you take 140 cash? Um, yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I can come pick it up uh, later oh, if it's not. I'm sorry, I'm just away. I'll be oh. home tomorrow or something like that sort of thing. Oh, okay. Oh, you're away on for Easter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'll be back tomorrow afternoon or something like that if that's easy. Or... Yeah, mate, that, that works. All right, well, when we get back in tomorrow sort of thing, I'll give you a yell sort of thing and we'll just let us know, you know, if it's, if it's ours, I'll give you a call and work something out anyway. Yeah, thanks, mate. All right. All right. Have a good bye, one, bye. mate. All right. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. bye. So the day just keeps getting better here for Easter, but we did kind of land that GTX 1060 deal. They will take 140 Aussie, which makes it a pretty solid price uh, for a card of this caliber. But also at the same time, we still have to get the deal. And there is a difference between someone saying, yeah, I'll take it. And in between when they now and when they get home, someone else offers more money and I end up not getting the deal. So we'll see how this plays out. Of course, as it stands, if the guy was in his house, he would give me the address and I technically would have got the deal, but we'll see how that one plays out. Next up here, we've got a GTX 1060 six gigabyte and they're saying it's a G1 gaming and MSI overclock. They've actually got two of them. They're asking $200 Aussie dollars. I'm gonna come in with 180 since the prices are already pretty good. Just going for that little shave isn't too intimidating. Just like we heard in that previous phone call, they were kind of thinking about it. So you just shave off a little bit and they're thinking about it, which means that they kind of wanted their asking price. But since you're just coming in just a little snipe, they're going to take it because it's cash pickup, no problems. This guy's serious because uh, the price is already good, but we just want that little discount. Go on for that little Wesley. If you guys know Wesley Snipes, we're doing a Wesley here. Isn't available right now. Okay, so they're not answering their phone. We're just going to drop in an offer here over Gumtree and see if they will accept it. And we'll get back to you guys a little bit later. Now the next deal we've got up here is a complete system with a Ryzen 5 2600, uh, B450 Pro Wi-Fi board, RX 580, 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes of RAM, SSD, 250 gigabyte, one terabyte hard drive, 550 watt gold rated power supply, a BenQ monitor, keyboard, mouse, and mouse pad, and I just straight away, I said, yep, $700 Aussie dollars, which is like 500 USD. I pretty much just dropped in the asking price. That's when you don't mess around. They're apparently going in a state. They just have to get rid of it. And that's where you don't mess around because you know other people are gonna be coming in with little snipes, little Wesleys and trying to shave it off. But if they see that you're coming in asking price, they're gonna be like, hey, this guy's offering asking price. I'll take him over the rest of the guys. So you gotta know supply and demand. This one is a seller's market for this PC at this price. Now you can see here, I've already put the offer in, but I wouldn't mind just giving them a call just to make sure that everything's okay. And refreshing the ad, it's actually already sold. So someone clearly got in very quick with that. 
a very good deal. Whoever landed that one, that was nice. Next up here, we've got a power supply, 850 watt True Power Quattro modular power supply. And I mean, it's a little bit old, but something like this is still a very good power supply, high quality. And they're asking 50 Aussie, we're gonna come in with 40 Aussie because in Australia getting 850 watt power supplies, you're literally gonna be paying over 100 Aussie dollars most of the time. So just coming in with a little $40 snipe, these guys are literally just down the road. So if I get this deal, it's gonna be super easy to go pick up and bang, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am, that offer is there. And let's pull up the last deal on Gumtree here, which is an X3440. And they've also got an X5450, but as you guys may or may not know, in the past, I've sort of retired LGA775, and that's due to the personal headaches I've just had with that platform. It's almost like one in every two builds on LGA775 has some kind of problem where I'm just spending hours and hours trying to solve it. And then half the time out of there, I can't even fix those problems. So I just wasted a heap of time for nothing. So I'm kind of done with LGA775. And a lot of people in the comments have said it's got something to do with probably the uh, CMOS batteries drying out and then shorting out as they're on their way out. And that causes damage to the motherboard. I'm not entirely sure if you've got some reasons as to why uh, 775 is actually having so many problems. I'd love to hear your opinions because over the past few years, it's like I've just noticed more and more problems with uh, 775. But the X3440, that thing is definitely one of my CPUs. It's in my vocabulary. So let's offer them, I mean, I just give them a call. Well, actually they don't even have their number there. So I'm just gonna offer 10 bucks and uh, see if they'll take it. So next up here, we've got Facebook Marketplace and there's two deals that I've pulled up that I'm kind of interested in for parts. And the first is an Asus uh, B350 Plus motherboard. Decent little board, they're asking 60 Aussie for it. I'm gonna come in with 50 and they say there's a problem with the M.2 slot, but I'm pretty sure that's just the uh, screw mount system. I've got some spare screws for these because I've pulled them off dud boards in the past. So I'm pretty sure I could salvage that. So uh, I'm just gonna actually ask them right now if they take 50 bucks because they're pretty much thing so let's see if they uh, are receptive and I'll go pick that up yeah they've accepted it right on the spot so as I'm recording this segment they're gonna take 50 Aussie dollars we've landed it let's go pick that up So we just got back to the studio. It's raining outside. It's really weird at the moment on the Gold Coast. The weather is just up and down. One minute it's pouring down, the next minute it's sunshine, but we have got three deals already in the pocket. The Ryzen 5 2600, we ended up getting that for 200 Aussie. The GTX 1050 Ti, I didn't realize, but I actually dropped an offer of $100 and not 110 and he accepted a hundred dollars so i picked that up while i was on the road they messaged me back and that was really close literally right around the corner from this deal right here and then another deal that was really close by too was this the 1066 gigabyte we got this for 180 aussie dollars so they were three really good deals that i've already picked up and now i've got to go somewhere else and get that motherboard they accepted for $50, so I'm gonna go pick that up. And on the way, I'm gonna go get the GTX 752. Sort of make the transit time as low as possible. But also on that note, the two CPUs, I put in an offer for an i7-860 on Facebook and they accepted 25 Aussie and also the X3440 for $10, but they're all the way up in Brisbane. So it's not worth it for me to go travel all that way just for two CPUs. So I did message them both saying, look, I'll pay for these CPUs but if I'll give you a little bit extra, if you can just put in a letter, post it to us in the post, and uh, that'll save a lot of time. And so it will cost a little bit extra, but I'll update you on what goes on there. And lastly, another reason I didn't go up to get those deals is because Les, who we usually get deals off here on the channel, he's a regular, 
he's actually on holidays at the moment so uh, no point again driving all that way up to Brisbane which is like an hour away from me 100 kilometers away and uh, just you know just for two CPUs so not worth it but before we do hit the road again I was at the supermarket and they had uh, Easter eggs going for one dollar a pop when they're usually nine dollars so I picked up a whole carton over a one kilogram of dairy milk chocolate from Cadbury high quality stuff got that for 12 Aussie dollars for 12 cartons I'm feeling really good right now I have never seen anything like this. Someone has taken to this motherboard with an actual drill and tried like drilling into this M.2 slot. I don't know, I asked them what happened and they said they got it off someone else that tried doing this, that the board still worked. So I was like, look, I just interrogated them. I'm like, look, does this thing work? Like, yes or no, because otherwise I don't want it. If it doesn't, like if these traces or anything around here have been damaged, then essentially the board will be useless. And they assured me it was working, it works absolutely fine. If it doesn't, I can bring it back. So that was good to know. So we're gonna test it right now with a Ryzen 3 1200 and uh, make sure it does boot, but I also wanna test out all these other components quickly. But some bad news as well about the GTX 750. When I messaged them, they were telling me that they're at school road. And then I looked on my navigation system and within hundred kilometers of me, there's literally like three different school roads. And of course, it just happened to be the furthest school road from me. So I've got to now figure out uh, what I can do there. Maybe they can post it as well. So <laughs> lots of stuff getting posted this month. But also, let's uh, give these graphics cards some tech yes loving too. Quickly, just a little quick once over and then put it all on the motherboard that we got and make sure everything does indeed work. So we then can begin phase two of this parts hunt. And here's the easiest way to tell if a card has been used for cryptocurrency. It was dirty beforehand and the uh, connectors for the inputs and outputs are actually got the covers still on them. And we are three for three with these parts right here. So everything works, it checks out. And uh, this motherboard could use a BIOS update. I'm guessing that's probably why the person was selling it because they had an X470 Pro, which they gave me the box for. And uh, they just couldn't be bothered updating the bus, so we might as well do that now, and then it can support our Ryzen 5 2600. So the parts hunt is running really good so far, and with that said, I'm gonna get a good night's sleep, and I'll catch you guys in the morning, and we'll continue this pajame. That's uh, Italian for epic parts hunt. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Right here on the desk we have, before anything started, a trade-in on a PC. This is a special one, because I believe it's got a 3770K, that's what the guy said, 16 gigabytes of RAM, Z77 motherboard. However, it doesn't work. He says it's uh, problematic, so I traded this in for 150 Aussie dollars. That was the value I gave them. So we're gonna see if indeed the problems are big or if they're little, but knowing by the D3H motherboard, that is probably the issue, though I really love this because it's like a lucky dip and it's just, it, honestly, it's exciting. So we're gonna make a separate video for this because I wanna take you guys through a tour and diagnose every problem start to finish and we'll find out exactly what the issue is, but I'm really hoping the CPU is working because that's the cream of the crop as well as the memory. I mean, those two things are like the cream of the crop in this build, but with that aside, Let's search for a few more deals and see what we can come up with. So we're looking through Gumtree and also Facebook Marketplace and there wasn't a whole lot of good deals available. I did sift uh, through a lot of them yesterday and found sort of the cream of the crop. Um, and we did miss out on some really good deals at PC for example, but there is a person parting out some uh, gaming PC parts and it looks really good. They've got 500 gigabyte SSDs, uh, i7 7700K, 
as well as a what looks like a decent motherboard. So I'm gonna see if they're open to negotiation, say if I buy a heap of different parts off them, if I can get a discount. So I'm waiting on their reply. Also, Mark from yesterday uh, accepted the offer of $40 for that power supply. So I'm gonna go pick that up really soon. And then there's also an i7-2600 which I've put an offer of 80 Aussie dollars. And I know that you're probably thinking that's a little bit too much for the CPU, but believe me, on the used market, the i7-2600 actually does hold its weight. It's a lot more powerful than even like an i5-4690. Uh, even in terms of gaming performance, it's not gonna be a huge difference, but in terms of uh, selling value, i7 on that PC, even if it's a 2600, it does add a lot of value. People request i7s in gaming PCs. And so if you couple it with a mid-range graphics card, you got yourself an easy flip. But let's go jump in the Yesmobile, go pick up this power supply, and then see when we get back if people have responded, because I gotta make some decisions soon. I gotta know if these deals are still available. So we just got back now and we picked up the power supply and then on the way to get the power supply, the person messaged you back about the i7-2600 and that was just around the corner from Mark. So it, this was really cool. Like I ended up speaking to Mark for quite a while and he tells me he is a doctor, but he loves the used price performance stuff as well. And it's, it's really cool just the community that's building up around here. And I know you guys love this used price performance stuff. I love it too. So we're kind of, now that we've got a bit of a break in terms of there's like no new stuff getting sent in, I'm really gonna double down on the used stuff. So get ready. So let me know in the comment section below if you are ready for this. But we've got so far, I have um, got some deals in Brisbane that I'm asking about the postage. I've still got to pay those people. Uh, but what we've got so far is this 850 watt power supply, two graphics cards, an i7-2600 and a whole rig back here, which we got uh, for 150 Aussie dollars. So. Looking forward to doing a separate video on that. This stuff here looks really good. And I'll put the whole tally of what we paid for these parts right here on the desk in AUD and USD. So now here we are at the end of this month's parts hunt and it has been really good. Uh, I did sort of miscalculate some of the deals and where they are located because uh, if you're traveling too far to go get a deal then it's not going to be worth it. Unless of course it was that $700 PC which I missed out on, I would have traveled actually quite far for that. That was a really good deal. Shame that someone else already snapped it up. And if you did snap it up, if it's that person, let us know in the comments because it seems like it is a little bit of a tight community here for used PC parts where I'm at. It's called Southeast Queensland in Australia. But besides that, there is some market trends that are going on, uh, especially with new and used parts. And you guys have been asking for more and more of this used price performance goodness. So I was thinking of maybe doing a live stream every month after this used parts hunt, where we talk about the price trends, what's hot and what's not, and sort of look at some strats that you can do if you're building used PCs or new PCs. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Let us know in the comments section below if you wanna see that happen. A lot of people have also been requesting X58, more testing in 2019. In the back of my mind, of course, it's always there, but I'm actually gonna be waiting for the Ryzen 3000 series chips, and then we've got a whole new flood of comparisons that we can do, especially against the used stuff versus the new stuff, and hopefully by then some other games will come out that'll utilize more cores, more threads, so it'll just be a plethora of goodness in the next few months hitting your sub boxes. But also I did realize one thing with Les on holidays this month, if you guys didn't know who Les is, he's a guy that I regularly go to. He's about a 50 minute drive up the highway, but when I go there, I always get really good deals off him. And it's always good having him around because I always get parts at least for a total build. And that sort of makes me happy because then I've got something to look forward to. But with him on holidays, I'm sort of like in despair because I wanted to go to Brisbane, but it wasn't worth it just for those CPUs as we said earlier. And with all that aside, I hope you enjoyed this month's used parts hunt of the month. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Also share and subscribe the videos if you're enjoying them. And I will catch you guys in another tech video very soon, but also let us know in the comments section below what was your favorite deal of this month. And also if you found your own juicy deals, then be sure to share them in the comments. Love reading those comments and thoughts and opinions as always. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.